Searching for spring. It's awfully chilly out here, Stanley. What is it you wanted to show me? Oh, no! What's the matter, Stanley? Look at Dennis's surprise. Uh-oh. Well, I must say, I am surprised, Stanley. And I'm sure you know how much I appreciate uh, big snow lumps. But yesterday it was a giant snow goldfish. It looked just like you, Dennis. Only bigger, of course. I'm sorry, Dennis. No need to apologize. Snow tends to melt quite quickly in late winter. Yeah, it turned to monkey yucky slush. It's no fun playing outside anymore. You said it. It takes forever to put on a snowsuit. And mittens. And boots. And this stupid cap. And then there's nothing to do except watch everything melt and get muddy. I want it to be spring right now. Me yeah. too. But that would be lovely, of course. But I'm afraid it's not going to happen overnight. I guess you kids didn't have much fun outside today, did you? Nah, my snowfish melted. We're sick of winter. We want it to be spring. Me too. Now here to tell us when spring will arrive is our animal weatherman. Animal weatherman? What's he mean? Yes, it's Punxsutawney Phil, the world's most famous groundhog. Oh, I love this little guy. He's great. But how can a groundhog tell when spring is coming? Listen. Every year on Groundhog Day, we gather here to greet Punxsutawney Phil as he comes out of his hole after a long winter nap. Everyone knows that if he sees his shadow, that means there'll be six more weeks of winter. Oh, no. However, if Phil doesn't see his shadow, that means spring is on the way. Awesome. That is so cool. That's amazing. And it's just about time now for our favorite groundhog to poke his head out of that hole. Are you ready, Phil? Oh, I get so excited. He's just the cutest little thing. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Will Punks and 20 Phil see his shadow or not? Not, not, not. I don't see any shadow. Do you? No, I don't, honey. There's no shadow to be seen, ladies and gentlemen, and that means spring is on its way. Yay! Tomorrow we can play baseball and plant a flower garden and run through the sprinklers and put away our snowsuits and mittens and boots and caps. Yay! I'm afraid you kids are getting a little carried away. Groundhog Day is kind of a legend, you know? What's a legend? It's something that people like to believe, but isn't necessarily true. It isn't going to be warm and green and springy for quite a while yet. We dream of putting my paws outside the house this time of year. You won't say that tomorrow, Elsie. Spring's coming. Yeah, we heard it on TV from a groundhog named Parker on a Pat. Fred. Phil. Whatever. Really? It's going to be spring? Yes! And real soon, too! Uh, excuse me, Stanley, but I believe your mum said you shouldn't be too eager to believe in groundhog weather, Ben. Aw, uh, that's just mom. Everybody knows that if a groundhog doesn't see a shadow on Groundhog Day, spring's coming. I'd like to suggest that we turn to a certain book of yours to learn a little bit more about groundhogs, if you please. Great idea, Dennis.
pigs and hogs live above ground, on farms. How big are ground hogs? About the same size and weight as Elsie, I'd say. <laughs>